Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. The Championship has just finished for this weekend. Obviously we get back on the way in the Championship midweek. So um, the AFL is so busy this time of year, so a lot of football. Um, but anyway, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. I sell my merch, Elite Farm merch. It's down in the description below, so guys feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, but anyway, as I've said, a lot to talk about, so let's get down to it, guys. You know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Birmingham versus Barnsley. Um, Barnsley joined 1-1 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Birmingham beating Bristol City 3-1. Is that going to be the end of Bristol City's promotion playoff hopes? we get down to that in just a bit. Um, but let's go over to the form table. Barnsley picking up four points at their last five games. Birmingham not lost in their last five games and picked up a great 11 points. Um, going forward with this game... I can only really see this game going one way. I'll go give it to Birmingham and I'm gonna go for a 2-1 Birmingham win. My next one is Blackburn Rovers versus Hull City. Um Hull City drawing one one away to Reading. Uh Blackburn losing one 0 at home to Fulham. Um Blackburn that's their first defeat in five, but Blackburn have got eight points out of the last five games. Um, Hull City, that's their first point in five games. They've only picked up one point in their last five games as well. So for this one, I'm going to give it to Blackburn, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Blackburn win. My next one is Brentford versus Leagues. Um, Brentford beating Middlesbrough 3 2 at home. Leagues losing 2 0 away to Nottingham Forest. Oh, how tight it is at the top is unbelievable. Because um, Leagues lost their drawn points with Fulham, and everyone up there has played 31 games. Brentford win. This midweek game, Leagues will be out of the automatic promotion places. Whether that's by Brentford themselves, or whether it's done by Fulham, or Nottingham Forest. You know, yeah, this could be a great week of football in the Championship. It's what makes this division so exciting and so unpredictable. Um, but let's get back to the game. Um, Brentford... Picked up 10 points in their last 5 games, putting them on 53 points. Leagues have only picked up 3 points in their last 5 games, putting them on 55 points. Um, so for this one, I'm going to go for a Brentford win, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Brentford win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Chelsea Athletic. Nottingham Forest, just that you mentioned them. Beating um, Leeds United 2 0 at home. Uh, I watched highlights of that game and I think that counter attacking goal was unbelievable um, with the likes of, you know, how I did it. Um, Charlton losing 3 1 away to Stoke City, their relegation candidates. That could be a Big defeat for Charlton coming into the season. Um, Nottingham Forest is another one that can overtake leagues if they win this weekend. I think Nottingham Forest will, and I'll go for a 3 1 Nottingham Forest win for that one. My next one is Swansea versus QPR. Um, Swansea losing 3-2 at home to Derby County. That game was a bit of an interesting game as well, I think, um, in my opinion. Um, QPR losing 2-0 away from home to Huddersfield. Great three points for Huddersfield. Um, over to the form table. 
Swansea are currently in ninth place, 46 points, only picking up 5 points at their last 5 games. Um, I don't think QPR's got much of a different stat, no. QPR have uh, got 3 points at their last 5 games. Um, it can't be a table changing game, but it could be big for QPR. Um, for this one, I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Wigan Athletic versus Middlesbrough. Um, Wigan losing 2-1 at home to Preston North End. I wouldn't be too downhearted if I was a Wigan fan. Obviously, you're the real fans. Tell me how you feel in the comments below about that result. Um, Middlesbrough losing 3-2 away to Brentford. That game was so interesting. Brentford went 1-0 up. Middlesbrough came back 1-1. Brentford went 2-1 up. And Middlesbrough came back 2-2. That game was so quick and, you know, looked like such a good game. What do I think of this game? We're going on 29 points, picking up 6 points at their last 5 games. Middlesbrough, 36 points. Um, only three points out of the last five games. I'm going to go for a Wigan win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Wigan win. My next one is Bristol City versus Derby County. Derby County beating Swansea City 3-2 away from home. Uh, big three points actually for Derby coming at the end of the season. Uh, Bristol City... Losing 3 1 at home to Birmingham City. And um, Bristol City outside the plus by goal difference. Bristol as a first defeat for Bristol City in five games. And um, Bristol City have picked up 12 points out of the last five games. Uh, Derby County have picked up 10 points out of the last five games. That's a second win on the bounce. I'm going to expect Bristol City to turn this game around. And I'm going to go for a 2 now Bristol City win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Cardiff. Huddersfield beating QPR 2-0 at home. Um, very good three points for Huddersfield. Um, very much needed as well down at the bottom. Cardiff City beating Luton Town 1-0 away from home. It's better a bigger goal difference and um, bigger victory for Cardiff there, but you know one goal does the job so Nothing to complain about. Um, Cardiff picked up 9 points from their last 5 games. Huddersfield picked up 7 points from their last 5 games. Huddersfield are currently on 35 points. Cardiff on 46. Um, but I'm going to predict Cardiff to win this game. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cardiff City win. My next one is Luton Town versus Sheffield Wednesday. Luton Town losing 1-0 at home to Cardiff City. I've just let you mention that result. Um, is it doom and gloom for uh, Luton? Um, Sheffield Wednesday drawing 1-1 away from home to Barnsley. Luton on 24 points. Um, 9 points the difference between Chelton and Luton. Um, so, even though it's still quite a way to go, I need to stop picking points off their go get out of that relegation zone. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, sitting in 11, 44 points, picking up 5 points out of the last 5 games. I'll go predict Sheffield Wednesday to win this game, and I'll go for a 3-0 Sheffield Wednesday win. My next one is Millwall versus Fulham. Millwall... Losing 2 0 at home to West Bromwich Albion. Fulham beating Blackburn Rovers 1 0 away from home. Um, look at the state that Millwall pitch. And um, obviously, we've had Stormy River over here, all, all up and down the UK. I'm surprised they went ahead with it. I don't think they've done the pitch much good. It's going to be interesting to see what the pitch looks like on uh, when this game gets played. Um, Will it be able to you know, hold? You know itself. You know what, if you know what I mean. It's um, will the ground stand? Will it? You know, it's gonna be an interesting look at the pitch when Fulham 
come to Millwall. Uh, or, go, or go to Millwall, I should say. Um, form table, Mill, uh, Fulham have you know, nearly done 15 points, but they've done 13 points at the last five games, drawing points with leagues with 55 points. Um, Millwall, 45 points, only picking up five points at their last five games. I'm going to predict for them to win this one, and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Fulham win. My next one is Reading versus West Brom. Reading drawing 1 1 at home to QPR. Great point for Reading. I still think that's a great point. West Brom and Jelbion beating Millwall 2 0 away from home. Um, go over to the form table quickly. Um, Reading 16, 3 points from their last 5. West Brom picked up 7 points from their last 5. And they're the only team that can't slip out the, the automatic promotion places yet. Um, I'm going to predict West Brom to keep dominating and I'm going to go for a 2, no I'm not, I'm going to go for a 3 to West Brom Jelby and win for that one. My next one and my last one for the midweek games is Stoke versus Preston North End. Um, Stoke beating Cheltenham 3-1 at home, big 3 points and a great win for Stoke. Um, Preston North End beating Wigan 2-1 away from home. Um, let's go over to the form table quickly. Stoke 34 points, picking up nine. Uh, done, picking up ten points out of the last five games. Sorry. Uh, Preston North End uh, pick up eleven points from their last five games. I think even though Stoke got a big win, I still think Preston going to have this game. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Preston win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So, a big fat fun, you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao, friends.